Good morning. My name is Stephen Hans from Mount Cuba Center. I am joined by Sarah Fitzsimmons from the American Chestnut Foundation. We're, we are standing right in the middle of the chestnut orchard and today we're going to talk about uh, the American chestnut. Uh, I'm Sarah Fitzsimmons. I work for the American Chestnut Foundation out of our Penn State office and uh, my colleague Stephen Hoy and I have come down today we are going to uh, phenotype the trees today, which means we're gonna take some data about their long-term blight resistance. Uh, two years ago, I came down and collected leaves off of all of the, the trees that we selected from the 1999 and 2000 orchards. We sent them to Virginia Tech for genotyping. We now have their genetic sequences. And now what we need to do is overlay the phenotypic information, how well these trees have resisted the blight long-term. And by doing that, we can tell what are the, gene the underlying genetic controls for blight resistance and this will help us improve our blight resistant uh, restoration material long term. This tree was planted in the year 2000. It's the second planting that was put in here and then we inoculated it. We took the chestnut blight fungus and we put it in the tree. We did that in 2004. So the tree was about four years old when we did this and it's been living with the blight since then. You can see all this crusty bark. Um, this tree is pretty much blighted but the cool thing is, is that it's resisting it. If this tree didn't have resistance, well, it'd be dead, but it would also have these really sunken, gnarly, orange cankers. Um, so what we're doing today is called phenotyping. We're figuring out what the tree looks like. We're quantifying that with data. Uh, Hoy's got our clipboard uh, with the different metrics that we're gonna be taking. And what we're gonna do is um, figure out how big the tree is, take its diameter, take its height, and then quantify how the blight uh, is doing on this tree or actually conversely how the tree is resisting the blight. This data will then be overlaid with the uh, genetic sequence data that we have that we gathered a couple years ago and we'll figure out what the underlying uh, control of chestnut blight resistance is. The native forest tree species of the eastern United States uh, are under an enormous amount of threat from exotic pests and pathogens. One of the first trees to experience this attack is the American chestnut, uh, what we're dealing with here today. Uh, the chestnut blight fungus was imported on Japanese chestnuts in the mid to late 1800s. And this was one of the first times that the United States saw a decline in a, in a beloved native tree species. Uh, the tree was virtually eliminated from the landscape. Um, uh, about four billion trees were uh, knocked down because of this exotic fungus. And today we see a lot of other native tree species like uh, the ash, the white and green ash in particular, like our hemlock, um, our beeches. Uh, these species and others are all under attack because of the importation of exotic pests and pathogens. What we're doing today with the chestnut, even though we've been doing this program in some shape or form, uh, the USDA started work in the 19 teens and 1930s. Uh, the, chestnut, the American Chestnut Foundation is continuing that work and has been working for about 40 years to find a solution uh, to this uh, chestnut blight. Uh, we're using a combination of techniques from traditional breeding uh, to biocontrol, uh, trying to make the fungus sick and controlling it with the virus. And we're also using traditional breeding techniques, uh, the result of which you see here and which is what we're doing today. We're hoping that the work that we do can help these other species uh, so that these other trees that are uh, seeing sharp declines because of these exotic pests and pathogens, that we can set a model uh, that will help other species do this more rapidly so that we can get them back in the forest and have uh, resources for our wildlife and economy and ecology for years to come. If you're interested in uh, finding out how to participate in the events with the American Chestnut Foundation, you can uh, contact us online at acf.org or find the Pennsylvania New Jersey chapter at patacf.org. We have volunteer events periodically throughout the summer, everything from planting trees to pollinating trees, harvesting, uh, as well as inoculations and data recording. Uh, feel free to contact us and see you soon.